Hello and welcome to another Olympian math video. In this video we're solving for x to the power of 4 is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 4. Before we get any further, please like and subscribe so I can keep making more content. And let's dive into it. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite x minus 1 to the power of 4 as x minus 1 times x minus 1 and so on. Another option you can do is apply the binomial theorem. Now that is great in many situations if it is a more complicated equation but this one is pretty straightforward to multiply that out. So if we multiplied that out we would have x to the power 4 is equal to x to the power 4 minus 4x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to subtract our x to the power of 4 and move it over. So we'll have negative 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now what we want to do is to factor this equation out. So if we factored this, we can pull out the negative sign. So we would have negative 2x minus 1 times 2x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now in order to solve this, we can just set both sides equal to 0. So we would set our 2x minus 1 equal to 0 and our 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So for the first one, we would get 2x minus 1. You can add 1, which would be equal to 2x is equal to 1. And then all we would do is divide by 2. So we would have x is equal to 1 half. So that is one solution for this equation. Now, the other side, our 2x squared minus 2x plus 1, we'll set that equal to 0. First thing we would do with this is use the quadratic formula. If you haven't used the quadratic formula before, it is in some of my other videos, if you need a better understanding of it. But we would plug in our values, and we would have x is equal to negative times the negative 2, so that would be positive 2, plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 2 times 1 all over 2 times 2. Again, if you're uncomfortable with the step I just did, look into the quadratic formula for more information. So if we solved that out, we would end up with an x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of negative 4 over 4. Now something to remember here is if you have a negative value in a square root, we can substitute that for the value of i. Because if you had square root of negative a, for example, that would be equal to i square root of a. Because i is equal to square root of negative 1. i is an imaginary unit. I have a video on imaginary units and numbers if you want to check that out to learn more about it. So let's go ahead and apply that to our equation. So we would have x is equal to 2i over x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i over 4. Because 4 squared or 4 to the square root is equal to 2. So then we can simplify that and pull out a 2, we would have x is equal to 2 times 1 plus or minus i over 4. Which means that x would be equal to 1 plus or minus i over 2. So in this question, we have three possible answers we could do. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please comment down below. If not, please like and subscribe.